welcome to episode six of Stable Talk. We have Will Ford and Amanda Perez from the golf team with us today. Will finished with four top five finishes last year, and Amanda won the LVC Fall Invitational. But if you guys just want to tell us about, I don't know, your hometowns, your majors, when you started playing golf, etc. Um, so yeah, I'm a junior. I'm a business admin major. Um, I'm on the sport management track looking to go to law school after. Um, my parents just moved to Leesburg, Virginia, but I grew up in Jersey, a little town called Tom's River. So like the Jersey Shore, if you've ever seen that show. <laughs> um, I started playing golf when I was about five, um, but didn't really get serious until high school. And then, yeah, I was Stevenson, you know, here we are. Are there better uh, golf courses in New Jersey or Maryland? Um, or are they about the same? Jersey has like the big name golf courses. So like the old, like famous ones that a lot of the pros would play at, like Baltus Raw and stuff like that. Jersey has those. Nice. Might have to say Jersey. <laughs> All right, Mr. Green Screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I I'm from Reisterstown, but my parents, we actually just moved from that house about 10 minutes away to Lutherville. Um, I'm a senior uh, business admin major uh, with a track in entrepreneurship. And I started playing golf kind of late. I didn't play until freshman year of, uh, of high school. I used to play lacrosse. And uh, I finally switched, started playing a lot of tournaments. Um, and yeah, decided that I, I actually went to high point, uh, freshman, sophomore year, tried to walk on that didn't work out. So that's the reason I came to Stevenson is to try to play on the golf team. And, um, one of the guys last year hooked me up. So, uh, it all kind of worked out well. So it kind of like goes into my first golf Q and A for you guys is, she said she started playing at age five, but didn't really get serious till high school. Like, when you're at age five, like, what is golf? What is golf like when you're five years old? Smaller clubs, and just I don't think I've ever even seen a club that's like yeah, that. yeah. So you're just trying to hit the ball at that point. So like yeah. my dad would disappear every Sunday. Like this is how I got into it. My dad would disappear every Sunday, and then I guess I kind of figured out what was happening, and I said. I want those, like wherever you go. <laughs> and so he got me the like a little tiny set. We still have like my first club. And he put me into like these group sessions of like at the, at the local driving range, mm -hmm. but I would get distracted by the other kids. I would like watch them and I'd be like, what are they doing? And my dad's like, just focus on you. Just, just play your game. <laughs> but I really liked the coach. So the coach, the PGA pro at the driving range was like, I'll teach her, I'll like do little, little like lessons for her mm -hmm. and fun and like give me ice cream if I got it in the basket or whatever nice <laughs> ice cream that's is always golf. good that's what golf was Bob like ice cream. rewards <laughs> gotta, gotta love the ice cream rewards yes what's it like playing for coach Raymer <laughs> uh, it, fun so, so uh when I first met Raymer uh I was kind of forewarned that yeah, he was energetic guy, maybe a little on the quirky side. Um, but I don't know, he was he was he's super nice. I mean he's gonna he's gonna crack jokes with you and at you if like uh, you mess around, but he's a great guy to play with. Uh he's got a lot of energy for a guy his age. Does he that. talk with you guys? No, I've never no. seen him swim. <laughs> never seen him swim? No. That's hilarious. But no, he's so much fun. He's just very encouraging. He's the guy, like, if you're not playing well on the course, he'll start talking to you about what you want for dinner after the round. Like, he will get your mind off of it. Yeah. He just looks, he wants us to, he wants to win so bad, but he wants us to win for us. Like, he's like, yeah. I want you guys to have fun, enjoy it and just win for you. Like, I know you guys care about it. So he, he's very encouraging. Very nice. Um, What has been your longest round of golf? 
Oof. Like oh, yeah. a six and a half hour round. How many? Long six? Longest? Like time? Yeah. Wise? Time wise, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely played a six and a half hour round. Oh my god. Eighteen yeah. holes in six and a half hours. I'm sorry. Yeah. Eighteen holes in that oh. long. Yeah, I mean that's like over the whole golf career. I don't, definitely, we've hit like five and a half, six ish hours for college. Somewhere along the yeah. way. Why? Like getting stuck behind people or weather or just cause naturally? I mean, a mixture of both. But mm -hmm. just like a lot of like a lot of people are just slow golfers, and I think me and Amanda are on the fast side, but a lot of people in Division Three aren't. And yeah, it's just who you're playing with. Do you, do you get stuck behind people a lot? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, the tournaments usually do like a solid job of getting guys to speed up when they're kind of slowing down, so they don't hold groups up. But yeah, you do do get some of that. Yeah. You... They're definitely slow. It just depends. They're slow because they're tournaments. People want to play well, but then when you're at the age of like fourteen, fifteen. It's not at the college level, so everybody's just hitting it OB, hitting it out of bounds, taking 10 shots to get out of the sand, and then it all just adds up. Like, as people keep going, it, it adds up. Especially I was playing some uh, Wii Golf with my little sister last night, got some nice birdies in. <laughs> I love Wii Golf, dude. Wii Golf is the best. I love right? Wii Golf. I like, I like the Wii Golf more than the bowling sometimes. Wii Golf is fun. <laughs> we played we like a party the other day, and there was like a little mini game of like chipping, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is it!" Like and <laughs> chipping with the Wii. All right, last Q and A. What's your favorite golf course you've ever played on, and why? Will you go? Um, best golf course, Prado Pinehurst, number two. What and where is that? Uh, it's in uh, Pinehurst, North Carolina. It's about, I think, Amanda, is it close to, close to Raleigh? I forget where in North Carolina yeah. Pinehurst is. Yeah. But, somewhere uh, in North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, but somewhere there. But they used to, I think they held like the 2014 US Open there. And I played it like uh, the year after that. So that was pretty cool. Nice. But yeah, it's a big like hub for golf courses uh in North Carolina, Pioneers. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite has to be the Golden Horseshoe Gold Course. It's in Williamsburg, Virginia. It's, the Golden Horseshoe, you said? Yeah, Golden Horseshoe. <laughs> there ho is there a golden horseshoe there? There's horseshoe shaped bunkers. Nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um I just love the layout. I mean, if you ask any golfer, there's courses that we love and we hate, and it's usually because of the layout. When you know, like, sometimes you just jive with how the course is set up and what it is, but that course is just always in great condition. Um, I mean, it's a public course, so anyone can really play it. And the way they keep it, you'd think it's a country club. So it, it's just one of my favorites. I've been playing, since, playing there since probably I was like 12. Okay, well now we're gonna play Would You Rather. So both boy last one question both of you will answer. Would you rather go to the moon or Mars and why? Mars. Mars. <laughs> I wanna go I wanna go moon. Moon. Moon and just jump around. Yeah, that would be so much fun. Is the gravity different on Mars, or is it the same? Do they know if people can, like, breathe on Mars yet? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think anyone's tried yet, but maybe you, maybe you can go and try. Yeah, you can yeah. go try. Huh? I'm like the first person on Mars. We've been watching, like, I don't know what it is. Lately, we've been watching so much stuff about space. Like, because on Netflix, they have that show Away. Mm -hmm. and, like, a documentary about the Challenger. So we've been talking about space a lot here. <laughs> I watched a lot of space stuff over quarantine just because there was like nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen the uh, Martian with Matt? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, I haven't seen that. that. Was, yeah, I mean, that was a true story, right? 
That's the no. one where he like turns his poop into like plants and stuff. <laughs> yeah, he had, to, he had to literally make grow potatoes out of the ground on Mars. I don't know how he did that, but yeah, what a crazy! It was a crazy movie. Starts to finish. Pretty good one. Pretty satisfying. Yeah. All right. Would you rather your only mode of transportation be a donkey or a giraffe? Giraffe. My favorite animal is a giraffe. <laughs> yes. I say giraffe too. Yeah. Giraffe. I guess really, what? Donkeys, donkeys jump like a bunch smell. and giraffes would be fast, would be the. Yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah, I guess a donkey. No would one messes with a giraffe. giraffe. And like, if you rode a donkey, people would look at you like you're weird. But if you rode a giraffe, you're like, oh my God, that girl's so oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather only be able to use a fork or only be able to use a spoon? That means no soup if, if I'm using a fork, but no steak. Actually, I could use my hands. Probably a spoon. I don't know. You could, you could scoop the steak with a spoon, but you can't. No, if I want to cut it. Soup with a fork. No. Yeah. Yeah, I can't scoop soup. Yeah, it's got to be a spoon. No, I think yeah. I, I don't need enough soup. I. <laughs> I don't need like but cereal. Like, on a sick day, I might want some soup. Well, I don't mind dry cereal. I'll eat it. <laughs> yeah, cereal can. <laughs> <laughs> like just, just it and then like take a sip of milk. <laughs> Figure it out. All right. Would you rather have all dogs you see try to attack you, or all birds you see try to attack you? Pretty unfortunate question, yeah. either way. Are the dogs mean? I mean, they're attacking you, so I'd assume. Like they can attack you with love. <laughs> Like, if I saw an eagle coming from my head, I <laughs> would probably scream. Um, what about a big German Shepherd? Oh, no. I, feel like, I actually uh, had a big German Shepherd chase at me angrily when I was a kid. That, it, it bit me, but... Do you have PTSD from this and from this question now? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I would choose bird. I feel like I could contain a bird. There's many dogs much bigger than me, yeah. so I feel like I could contain the bird. I, I'm, af I'm like afraid of birds, so I'd have to go the dog route. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, dog. Many especially dogs. like seagulls. Seagulls like flapping their wings at you like near the beach just freaks me out. PTSD from seagulls. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna do rapid fire. So I'll do Amanda first, and then Jay will do Will. Um, it'll be four questions each, and like as soon as I say the question, you have to answer like immediately, like no like thinking. <laughs> so yeah, so Amanda, you're first. So, so are you ready? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite carb? Bread, pasta, rice, or potatoes? Bread. What is something you could eat for a week straight? Chicken parm. What color is your toothbrush? Blue. <laughs> If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? A comedy. Also, who, who would play you? Um, like Emma, Emma Roberts, I think. Or the one that was in like Scream Queens and American Horror Story. Like she dated, I forget his name. I have no idea. I don't know. One of those. <laughs> a, short, a short brunette, a short brunette, anyone? I'm I'm I'm, no I'm impressed how you can like remember what color toothbrush you have that quickly. I think it's like blue and green. <laughs> that pretty quickly. I I it wouldn't take me that quick. I, I mean I use it before. every day. I'm staring at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, All right. How old were you when you had your first bad haircut? You remember? Oh, I was like 12. First time I got a buzz cut. <laughs> Good Good luck. What was your worst job? Worst job? Weed whacking my dad's eight acre property fence line, which took me four hours. Jeez. What, Lord, is Lord, most, Lord. what is the most useless talent you have? Useless talent. I'm double jointed, I guess. 
Well, I don't think that's a talent, but it's just a weird court. <laughs> I don't know. If you were a ghost, where would you haunt and why? I'd, I'd probably haunt my old house. I don't know. I miss that place. All right, we got some golf trivia for you guys now. Let's see. Oh, All right. How many PGA Tiger Woods won? Oh, 80. Wait, what did you say? What? How many, how many PGA Tour events Tiger Woods won? Tiger Woods? Yeah. One or two. I don't know. One of those. I forget. One or two? No, eight. One. I th I'm going to say 82. Final, I'm gonna go 82. Yeah, you got Jeez. it. Yeah. 82. What about really, that was it? Yeah, that was the answer. Yeah, I, I don't know why I remember that. There's nice also, job. there was a similar one. How many major golf championships does Tiger Woods have? Does that mean the majors, or what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, majors. Oh. Uh, I know that 15. He just won the Masters, which is a major. Two for two. Year. Let's see how their Happy Gilmore knowledge is. What is the name of Happy Gilmore's first tournament? The Waterbury Open. Yeah. There we go. But I couldn't forget that. The um, rare, the rare. Three I think that was. I think that was the best trail we've ever done. Yeah. I mean, there's, 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 very good at it. Uh, oh man, I'm sorry that you didn't get to answer. Either. It's okay. I I trusted. Sorry, one. man. No. <laughs> I was like, you got this. Go. <laughs> Yeah, that was the rare three for three. We don't, that was normally, rare for three. Normally we see a lot of 0 for threes. Yeah. <laughs> or we see a lot of like, um, we ask a question and they just keep spitting answers after one another until they like get it right. We're like, no, you can't think it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to start screaming. Well, we always tell people they have to tell their, fo their like favorite coach story. Yeah. So. What's, what's your favorite Coach Raymer story? Or any more coach, I guess. Or any, like, Stevenson golf stories that you think the people should hear about? Oh, okay. I have I have a good Coach Raymer story. I mean, there's many. But this is the thing that's coming to mind. So, a few years ago, we went to Nationals in Houston. And he has a big thing about phones. You don't touch your phone when we're eating dinner. You don't touch your phone like when we're having a team conversation and he calls it your toy. So we fly back from Houston and we land and obviously we're all on our toys the whole flight. I mean, it's like four or five hours, so whatever. And he's yelling at us, he's like, oh, you ladies are so slow getting your bags. Like you're always on your toys, like da 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 da. So we get past the door that's like, no going back. Like you can't go back and we get to baggage claim. And he looks at all of us and he goes, I left my toy on the phone on the plane. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh my God. So he's like asking the baggage claim people what he should do and like where he needs to go to get his phone. And we're like, you know what? This is what you get. You're yelling at us to hurry up. You're yelling yeah. at us to get our toys. Get it back. Oh, Raymer always gets what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> When I tell you he would have went on the landing strip if I had to, he would have. Like, he was, <laughs> like, it, was, it was a mess. But that's, that's a funny one. There's, there's so many more. Like, there's so many that it's just like, I, that's the first one that came to mind. I love when, like, old people are just, like, so out of touch with, like, their phones and their, like, technology that they, they'll walk They'll literally, they just, my grandparents do this, they'll like walk anywhere and then like an hour later they're just like, oh my god, like, where's my phone? <laughs> I love that because like I kind of wish I was like that but I'm not <laughs> at all. Yeah. My grandfather's so funny, he just got an iPhone and I sent him like a message the other day and he just sends back like a blank message. And then he put, I'm so sorry, I don't know why my message is. <laughs> I was like, you did that, not your messages, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> like it's just so cute but it's so funny. yeah it's funny macy do you have any um good quotes to end on today oh yeah unless will wants to tell a story we can end on um 
we are we're trying to end all of the podcasts on like a quote. Or if anyone has a good a quote. Or if anyone has quote. a fun fact or something. Good like good quote. Yeah, any good uh any good motivation. Oh, quote. I got a Raymer quote. Right, oh yeah, there. give it to it's him. Not gonna, it's not gonna resonate with any of you, probably. <laughs> he said it's don't be nervous. Don't get nervous. Uh, don't I get nervous. I don't think don't, get nervous. Nervous. don't get nervous. Or no attitude. Here's the no that he says that. But I this, is, this is the quote. Attitude determines altitude. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't really know the what it means. Quote. I don't really know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, <laughs> this is just random. May today be the Fridayest Friday that ever Friday. Yay. TGIF. TGIF. Yeah. All right, wrap up. Do you guys want to like plug, plug anything like Instagram or um, shout outs to families? Um, I'll shout out my girls. They're the best. Yeah. Two new friends. Be great. Did you shout out the girls, Dean? Yeah, I did. All right, I'll shout out my boys. <laughs> I haven't seen them in months, but can't wait to can't wait to get back with them. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for taking. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Classes. Yeah. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Have a good day. Friday. Yeah, yeah have a good Friday. 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 Friday.